Hello devs, welcome back to this mini series on how to deploy Django Python on shared hosting. On this video, we will be discussing how to install Python Django to cPanel shared hosting without using terminal. On the previous video, we already discussed if your cPanel shared hosting provides Python and terminal facilities, then you won't encounter any problem installing Python and Django. Then let's say, what if that's there's only Python features but no terminal and SSH features on your cPanel? Is there any that kind of provider out there? Yes, there is actually. I myself had an experience with a client that used a provider like this. This actually won't be a problem at all. We would still be able to install Python Django without terminal. On my hosting, there is a Python feature and also terminal. But my way of installing Python Django here will also be able to apply to cPanel that doesn't have terminal option. Let us open the Python installation dashboard. Python is already installed on this domain, dynotest.xyz, which we already did on the last video. Let's leave it for now. We will install Python on a new domain. Like what I said previously, we'll do create application. Now we'll install Python on a domain, gapuratest.xyz. We were using Python 3.7 before, now we'll use 3.9. I'll name my working folder Gapuratest. You can name it anything you want. Click Create button. And Python is installed. Let's check. Click Open. And alright, Python is now running. Now let us check our working folder. This is our working folder that we've just created when we are installing Python. Now let's take a look at virtual env folder. There are now two folders. One folder is test Django folder that we created when we installed Django previously, and the other one is Gapura test folder that was generated when we installed Python just now. Python version 3.7 is installed on test Django folder. While Python version 3.9 is installed on Gapura test folder, then we can see that the files, package, and bin are for Python version 3.9. Let's also try opening the gapuratest.xyz folder on public HTML. There's index.html which I already prepared beforehand. And this is the content. If we access it using the browser, let's type gapuratest.xyz, then the result will be the Python that we just installed. If we delete the Python referrer configuration inside htaccess file, this will happen. The access under the main gapuratest.xyz index HTML from before will be displayed. If then we refer the content of htaccess like before, accessing gapuratest.xyz, Python will be running again. Let's get back to Python's dashboard to start installing Django without using Terminal. Even though on this video I'm using cPanel, which has a Terminal option, but, ca but it can also be applied to those that are using hosting without Terminal option. The method is the same. Let us open the Python installation dashboard. There are already two domains that have Python installed. Let's edit gapuratest.xyz domain. These are parameters that we will that we filled and automatically filled by system when installing Python a moment ago. Let's go down a bit to a box that contains configuration files and execute Python script. We can fill this form any scripts or command with the condition that I, I highlight here. You can enter a command, let's say path to manage.py, but with a condition that it can only be a Python script. We could not enter other Linux commands that are not Python scripts. It's not only prohibited, it will cause an error. Let's take a look again on the order of installing Django. 
After installing Python, the next step is entering a command, pip install Django. We'll enter this pip install Django command in this execute python script from here, but we can just enter this domain, pip install Django. We have to enter pip install Django command with a complete path. To get a full path, just open the file manager again, into the virtual env folder, bin, this is the pip file, and then edit. From the editor menu, we'll find this pip file path. Let's copy this and then close the editor. Back to python dashboard and then paste the path that we copied earlier to the execute python script form. Then we add install django. And this is the command pip install django. And this is the path. After that, click the run script button. Wait a few moments. Python is executing pip install django command. Run script successfully. A box below will appear with text, Django has been successfully installed. We go back to file manager again. Now, we won't talk about the changes in the file manager after we install Django because we already discussed it on previous video. Straight to the virtual environment folder, then to Gapura test folder, then to bin. Django admin file is now located here, and then check the folder library. Django modules or packets are also now available. Installing Django is actually finished here. Like what we talked about in our previous video, there is no need to start the command start project. But many other tutorials on the web or other channels describe that installing Django continue to start project and beyond. For comparison and learning sake, we'll also continue into start project and so forth. To make a Django project, the command that we have to enter is Django admin start project followed by name of the project. This Django admin command also need to have a complete path. So obtain the path, we'll open again the bin folder on the Gapura test virtual environment. Django admin and then right click and edit. Copy the address bar, paste it to execute Python script form. Let's say the name of the project is no terminal. On the script that we just pasted, we add we add start project no terminal and then space dot. Then run the script. Wait a few moments, script is being executed, and run script successfully. Let's go to file manager to see the result. The virtual env folder and gapura test public folder on the public html didn't change. Only gapura test folder has changed. There is now file manager.py file. This file is the most important file in Django project. There is also a new folder called no terminal. Inside, there are a couple of Python files. After Django project is installed, then we'll need to make a couple of settings and adjustment. Open our no terminal folder and then edit settings.py file. Allow the host parameter, which is currently empty, we fill with our domain, which are gapuratest.xyz and www.gapuratest.xyz. Save. Then next, we see that in this folder, there's, al there's also wsgi.py file. What is this file exactly? This wsgi.py file actually belongs to Django, while this passenger underscore py dot py belongs to Python. Let's see the content of this wsgi.py file. This wsgi.py file 
in addition to importing operating system just like passenger underscore wsgi.py is also importing a function from Django's folder. This is the function. This function goes inside the application. We know from previous video that passenger underscore wsgi.py file only imports operating system function and Python system itself and doesn't import Django. And that's why if we want Django to run, we have to change the parameter on the Python dashboard. Now back to Python dashboard. Change this passenger underscore wsgi.py to the wsgi.py that's located on the North Terminal folder, like this. And then save. After we make the changes on our settings.py file, then open. Now Django should appear. Perfect. Django landing page has appeared. Django framework is often called battery included, which means it is already to run. Complete with admin dashboard and also SQLite database. To go to the admin menu, we go to the search bar on the browser and type gapura test.xyz admin. Django admin is now shown. But why is the appearance like that? It is because of the static files, which are CSS and JavaScript that hasn't been set on Django settings. We'll go into the next steps. Collect static. CSS and JavaScript files, which we call static files, are located inside the Django package. If we want to deploy Django to the hosting, these files need to be copied first from inside the package. Edit again the settings.py file inside the node terminal project folder. And then below the static URL, type static underscore root. Fill it with the gapura test.xyz static public HTML path. Then save. Now, Django Framework has MVT, Model View Template Architecture. Django will go to urls.py file to look into its content. After entering the collect static parameter to settings.py, we go open urls.py in no terminal project folder. Here, there's a command to import module admin from Django contrib folder. And this is admin Django path. And this is a path to function located at admin module that just been imported above. Now we only just need to give the command to copy static folder from admin Django. First, take the path and the command. The command is manage.py collect static. Manage.py is inside our work folder. Right click edit. Copy the path. Back to Python dashboard. Paste to form execute Python script. Manage.py and then add collect static. Run script and then done. This is the message. Now let's start Python and open the landing page show shop. Now let's try admin. Yes. Admin dashboard Django now has the appearance the way it should. And that's it guys, we have successfully installed Django on cPanel shared hosting without using the terminal option. Again, I remind you that this in this tutorial, we don't install Django up to Django project. So later, the project files that we just done just now will be deleted. See you guys on the next video.